If I want to address it, if I want to reminisce, I can go to a chapter, I can read this, and then I can close it. Three years after the infamous escape of two convicted murderers from a prison in northern New York, the daughter of one of those former fugitives is telling her story in a new book. Her name is Jamie Scalise. Her father, Richard Matt, always promised her that he would never die in prison, something she clearly remembers him saying and writing, but never actually thought that he would do it until word came, he's out. I know you think I will grow old and die in here in time. I can't go for that, Jamie. I have to beat them odd somehow. Besides, I gave you my word that someday you would know me outside these prison walls. I will keep my word to you. Those were the words from one of the last letters that Jamie Scalise received from her father, Richard Matt, just before he did the impossible, escape from Clinton Correctional Facility in June of 2015, along with David Sweat. He was able to use his multiple personalities and his charisma and his, his charm and his manipulations um, for, for the good, the bad, and the ugly. In the book, Jamie describes how she learned about her father's crimes by Googling articles at a local library when she was 15 years old. She was a curious teenager, but never wanted to ask her mom or make her uncomfortable. That's when years of letter writing and occasional visits began. He was a stranger to me. Yes, he was my blood, but I didn't grow up with him. We didn't have family memories or anything like that. So it was really just getting to know this person. The letters were raw and real. For Matt, it was all he had. He told her when he was being beaten in a solitary prison cell in Mexico that he would survive the beatings by thinking of her. He was just so grateful to have this relationship. He knew that if he lied to me and I were to find that out somehow, that it would just ruin everything. The letters and the visits, they got a little less frequent as life went on. Jamie got married and started a family. Life was good. Then she heard what she never thought she would hear. He's out. When she heard the news, she reflected once again to the letters he would write her. He had talked about, he had written me letters, you know, I'm, I'm not going to die in here an old man. I know you think that I, that's how I'm going to go out. He goes, there's only three ways out of here. It's, you know, you commit suicide, you, you die an old man in here, or, or you get out. Um, and in my head, only two of those were ever options. After a long, hard three-week search that made national news, Matt was killed by police while on the run in the woods. Hearing the news brought a small sense of closure for Jamie. I wasn't initially sad. I wasn't sobbing. I was, like I said, I think that wall kind of came back up, and I took it in. I accepted the facts, and I felt like I could breathe. My mom actually came over, you know, within minutes of, of finding the news out, and, and we just prayed. Well, Jamie wants to make it very clear that she does not want to glorify anything that her father did. She simply wanted to basically chronicle what it was like to be the daughter of a notorious criminal who defied the odds. Mary Alice.